All right, good. You're watching this video, which means you are ready uh, to do our coding lesson for today. So I just want to show you a few things about what's going to happen in this video. I'm going to go through each puzzle and, and show you how to solve it, explain it, and, and even show you the actual answers themselves, because I don't want you to get stuck. Now, I'd love for it if you just try these levels, try these puzzles on your own and then come back to the video only if you cannot get it. OK, so if you if you can do it without watching this video, go for it. Great. But if you get stuck, don't just sit there and get frustrated. Like, come back here, take a look and see how I did it. Pause the video, do the um, do the puzzle on your own. Uh, come back, replay it if you need to pause it. You're going to pause, go back, pause and go back. How are you going to do that? Well, first, everyone's going to click right here where it says code.org. We're going to click that link. When we do, look, there's these, this new tab that just opened up. This is where you're going to sign yourself in. So sign in and you're going to sign in with Google. So push the red button that says sign in with Google and it'll take you right back here. And if you have any progress from last time, like we did drawing with loops, uh, if you might see your progress through there, which is great, but we're going to this one here. Now, as we go through this, see this tab? This tab is where you're gonna do your work, but this tab over there, that is where the video is at. So you can play the video and have it going and then pause it when you see the video or see the answer, come back to this tab, Okay, I'm up there. Come back to this tab, do the puzzle. Okay. We're doing fancy shapes using nested loops, puzzle number one. Puzzle one starts us off with drawing a simple triangle. So the sides are 100 pixels long and the turns are 120, uh, 120 degrees. So I'm going to use the move block. Careful not, yep, a move block, and then we'll turn right by 120. Now, I could do this again and again for each side, but one of the things that we've learned is how we can use loop blocks to speed up our work. If this same direction is going to be repeated over and over again, let's use a loop instead. Put the loop out there, put our directions to be repeated inside, and then tell it how many times do you want to repeat. One, two, three times. Type a three in there, and then we'll push run to make it go. This is your answer for puzzle number one. All right, puzzle number two. Now here we have six triangles we have to draw. So one of the things that we do uh, when we're drawing fancy shape is we're going to break this problem down into parts. So the first part is that we're going to draw the simple shape first. The simple shape here is just a triangle. Don't worry about the hexagon yet. Let's figure out how to draw a triangle. We're going to move forward by 100 degrees. And then we were turning by 120. Remember that? Let's turn, here's 120 right there. Let's turn left by 120. Remember how we used a loop block to do it over and over again? Let's do that same thing. We're going to use a loop block. We're going to say do it three times. I'm going to push run to see what happens. Okay, that's good. That's one triangle. That's what we want. Next, after we draw the simple shape, the other thing we're going to do is turn or move or jump the artist to set itself up for the next shape. So in this case, this tells me that I need to turn 60 degrees before drawing the next triangle. And here's that one right there. Now I'm going to put it on the outside of the loop because the loop just draws the triangle. This is going to do the turn. I'm going to test it and see, did my artist turn the right way? It looks like the artist is now ready to draw that next triangle. So I think that's good. All right. So step three then is what I call the nested loop or the loop to loop. The loop to loop is where we're going to take all of this and loop it. If I've got to do that triangle here, 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 and here, if I'm repeating myself, then let's put it in a loop. I'm going to take all of this and set it to the side. Then I'm going to grab another loop block again. We're going to see how many triangles did I have to draw here? Six. So I'm going to say six up here. And then if this is the way to draw one triangle and turn the artist, I'm going to put it inside. This is the loop to loop, the nested loop, the loop inside a loop. When I push run now, 
it's going to draw a triangle and again and again and again. It repeats those directions. This is the answer to number two. Puzzle three is a video. You can watch if you want, or you can skip ahead. Puzzle four is the exact same one we just did. I kind of skipped ahead for you. I didn't really need you to draw out 24 different blocks if we could probably figure out right away like the easiest way to do that. Uh, so you can try and do that again, uh, or you can skip ahead. So skipping ahead to number five here, let's do that. Skip over four, let's go to five. Here I see that I've got a building now, okay? And I gotta draw each one of these squares. So step number one is draw the simple shape first. The simple shape is the square. The directions say that squares are 20 pixels with 20 pixels apart. So I'm gonna move forward. You know what, I'm just gonna change how many pixels that is right there, 20, like so. 20 pixels forward. And I'm gonna turn to, in this case, let's turn to the left 90 degrees. And let's repeat it four times because there are four sides in a square. Four. Repeat four times. Go forward by 20, turn left. Let's see if that works. Okay, that's the simple shape. The next step, step two, is to move, turn, or jump the artist wherever the next shape is at. In this case, the shape is down here. I have to jump the artist 20 pixels. And then the directions tell me 20 more pixels. So that's a total of 40 different pixels. So let's now use a jump block. Don't use a move block. Move blocks would draw a line, and I don't want that. Jump forward by 20 plus 20 is 40, like so. Let me test it out and see if that works. Good, it does. Step number three is to loop the loop. Loop the loop. Take this thing that we're going to do over and over and over again, and let's put it inside a loop. How many windows do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to do eight different windows. This is a window. Do it eight times. Now, one fun thing that you can start to do if you want, you can start doing color blocks. Color blocks won't add to your total blocks here. You can do th fun things like set random colors, and where you put a random color will decide what they become. If you put a random color at the top, then all of your windows will be that color. If you put a random color like inside here, then each window will be a different color because the directions, the algorithm says, set a color, draw a window, set a color, draw a window. If you took this random color and put it inside the other loop, like so, this would cause each individual side to be a different color. Because what you're doing here is set a color going forward, turning left, set a color going forward, turning left over and over and over again. So you can be as creative as you want. Notice that it doesn't really change. But when I go ahead and run it here, in this case, each window is going to be a different shade of colors. Here's your answer to number five. Now let's take a look at number six. Number six, we're going to be drawing some circles. It's kind of difficult. So it's going to be really important that we read the directions here. So the first thing is says each circle is made by moving one pixel before turning one degree 360 times. Yikes. I'm really glad we have loops now because loops are going to make that easy. Let's start with a loop here. We're going to draw the simple shape first. One circle. It is 360 times. They said that I've got to go forward by one pixel, one, and turn, let's see, in this case, we're going to turn left by one degree. Go forward, turn left, go forward, turn left 360 times. If I push run now, it's going to take a little bit of time, but eventually he's going to go all the way around. Perfect. That's 360 times going one pixel forward, one pixel to the left. Now, the next thing, I've got to turn, move, or jump the artist to the next shape. In this case, each circle begins 50 pixels from the last one ended. So I'll use a jump block here. Jump 50 pixels forward. Let me test it out, see if this works here. It goes all the way around, and he jumps to the next. Perfect. That means I'm ready for my step three, which is loop-to-loop. 
time to take the loop. And how many total circles do I have? One, two, three, four. Put a four in there. If you want to, set some sort of random color and add your loop in there to be able to draw uh, four different circles. This is your answer to number six. All right, next we've got same thing except a slight change. Now we're going to draw a circle, and then we're also going to add a turn in there. So the directions say, can we add a 90 degree turn between circles? To get this image, you still need to jump 50 pixels. So what we were doing is we were taking a loop and we were doing something 360 times. What were we doing? We were going forward by one pixel and turning left by one pixel. That drew one circle. After we draw one circle, we're going to do step two, which is move, turn, and or jump the artist. In this case, we need to both move or jump, jump by 50, and we need to turn, turn by 90 to the right, because that's what it says up here in the directions. So let me just test this out real fast and see if that works. It goes all the way around. It should jump here and turn right. Now it's ready for the next one. So we're going to use a nested loop. Loop the loop. There are four different circles. So I'm going to do this base set four different times. Put that inside, reset it and run. This will be the answer to number seven. Oh no, squares. This is something completely different, right? No, it's not. It's basically the exact same thing, just with a few numbers changed. Remember, step one, draw the simple shape first. In this case, it's a square. Each square has 100 pixel sides, 90 degree angles. Squares are easy. Just use a loop. Four sides to a square, 100 pixels. Turn left by, oops, turn left by 90. I'm just going to test it out to see. Let me put a random color in there just to make it fancy. Okay, that works. Step two, turn, move, and or jump the artist. In this case, the artist right here has got to jump 50 pixels to the next square. Jump 50. And then it's going to have to turn. Again, the directions, you need to turn 60 degrees between each square. Turn to the right 60 degrees. Let me test it out. Oops, I didn't jump 50, I jumped 100. It's a good thing I tested that out. All right, reset, let me test it again. It's okay if you need to test things out. I love testing things out, even before the puzzle's complete. I don't like to go on to the next step or to try and solve the entire thing before uh, I know that each step works. So break it down into smaller parts, test each side like I just did. Now that I know I got a square, I can do these directions. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Here's my loop-de-loop -loop turn. Six different times. Put it inside a loop. This is your answer to number eight. Hexagons? No one said anything about hexagons. Don't worry. Guess what I'm going to say. This is basically the exact same thing we've been doing this entire time. Step one, let's draw a simple shape. Each hexagon has 50 pixel sides, 50 pixel sides, 60 degree turns. So turn left by 60 and hexagons have six different sides. So we'll say six in there, six in there. There we go. Then we run it to see. Let's see. Always test. Perfect. Now we need to jump to the next spot and turn a little bit. So it looks like we are going to jump forward by, well, that looks to be a 50 pixels again. So make that change, 50 pixels. Then after we do that, we need to uh, turn it. So in this case, it looks like they give us a turn right by 45. Let's test that out and see. Draws that, looks good. I think we can go ahead and loop the loop now. Step three, loop the loop. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different times. 
Here's our answer to number nine all the way. Challenge puzzle, you are ready. Now, this is the fun part, challenge puzzle. This is actually two different shapes. It's a square and it's a triangle. So let's try and draw the simple shape first. The simple shape, uh, we're going to draw our square. So actually, let's go ahead and say, go for both shapes have 50 pixel sides. So squares have four sides and they are 50 pixels and squares turn left by 90 degrees and let's make it uh, red so that we can you know what i'm going to make it uh, blue i'm going to make this blue so i can see a square shape okay that's good now we're still going to have to keep drawing the shape now we need a triangle shape so we're going to use another repeat block like this triangles have three sides we said go forward by uh, 50 pixels. Now we got to figure out though the turn. So in this case, let's see, we're going to turn left, but not by 90. Uh, let's turn left by, uh, yeah, that kind of looks right. Don't you think? We'll give it a try. I'm going to make my um, triangle, well, let's go with red. That's good. Red and blue. Reset, run. Okay, so it looks like I've got the simple shape made. Step two is to turn, move, and jump the artist. So in this case, I'm going to jump forward after I draw my circle or my square, my triangle. Uh, we are doing 50 pixel sides here, so jump forward 50. And then it looks like we're going to turn to the right, and they give us a turn to the right by 45. Let me just test it out real fast. That looks good. So now... If I'm ready to do this over and over and over again, what do we use? A nested loop. Drag that nested loop in there eight times for eight different shapes. Put it in. Now, let's give this a, a test to see how it's going to go. There's one. There's two. I'm going to make this go faster by dragging this guy up. Whoa. Pretty cool. This is your answer then to number 10. Now we're drawing a row of squares. This should actually be pretty easy. We know we draw squares. Squares are going to be 50 pixels long here. So we're going to change this number to 50. 50. We're going to make this uh, four times. We're going to turn to the left. Ooh, it doesn't say turn to the left. Well, squares have what? 90 degree angles. Four times. Go forward. Turn left. Run it. There's one. That's good. Now we turn, move, or jump the artist. That's step number two. Let's jump forward by 50 pixels, 50. Let's see if that works. We don't need to turn the artist here at all because we were drawing a straight line. Now we're ready to loop that loop. Let's do it seven times because that's what the direction said, seven times. Put it in there, reset, run. This is your answer to number 11. All right, number 12 here is multiple choice. They want you to read this code and they want you to figure out, do you think it's A, B, C, or D? So to do this, you select A, B, C, or D and push run to see if you're right. I'm not going to show you the answer though. 13 is a free for all. You can do whatever you want in this level. So you can uh, try all these different sets. You've got patterns here that you can draw with. You've got stickers you can draw with. You've got colors that you can draw with. You can make one of your own fun patterns. Maybe try one of these. Try and draw a shape, then move, turn, or jump the artist, and then loop it. Do the, use the loop loop and see what kind of cool shapes you can do. Congratulations, you have done fancy shapes with nested loops. I hope you enjoyed some of these shapes that you drew. They're kind of fun when you get the hang of it.